Shalom, giving all praise and all glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kakadash, and double honors to the elder apostles, elder bishops, and brothers on Dong, and Great Millstone. Salutations to the whole free leg. This is your brother Rai Ban Yam Yam here with another lesson. And, um, you know, I was, you know, just on the plantation right quick, and, you know, while I was, um, you know, reading Psalms 142, you know, just meditating upon it, you know, um, briefly, and upon meditating on it, you know, I wanted to share this lesson uh, really quick, you know, with the hope for the elect, that, um, you know, King David, he, he was a man that fled and hid, you know, for a long time, you know, because um, King Saul wanted to, to kill him because the Lord had chosen King David to, you know, you know, David to be, um, to be king, you know, and um, King, King Saul at the time, he didn't like it. So he sought many times to, um, to kill him, man, so he could keep, you know, his rulership. And, you know, King David, he went in to, to hide in, in one place, be it, you know, um, that cave. One of the hiding places was that cave. And, you know, I was thinking about in the times that we are living now, that, um, you know, he saw Edom, he is going to come down, the scripture says he's going to come down with great wrath because he knew that he had but a short time. Now, he, just as King Saul, wanted to keep his crown, his rulership, and, you know, he was envious of um, King David at the time. In like manner, he saw Edom. He want to keep his um, his rulership um, over the earth. And he is also envious of us because most I said, Jacob, have I loved, but he saw how I hated him, right? So King David, you know, when I was reading this, you know, he found um, great um, calm and confidence in relying upon the Lord when there seemed to be no help, you know what I'm saying? So, as these things um, come upon us, you know, the hour of temptation, you know, um, the time of Jacob's trouble, you know, um, it's good to, you know, read um, that chapter, Psalm 142, and also Psalm 51, you know, which, um, uh, the elder apostle, I think, is um, uh, I think is um, Gabar. He recommended it um, um, to as well, you know. So this is very encouraging, especially for the time that we are about to come into when you'd be alone. You know, a lot of times, you know, he was alone. You know, I'm saying King David was alone. And we're going to be tried and tested a lot of times alone by ourselves, you know what I'm saying? So I just want to read um, this chapter real quick. It's just seven verses. You understand? And Lord willing, it'd be, um, you know, edifying to the elect. And I pray that you find uh, comfort and solitude in these words and believing in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh So this is um, Psalm 142 and verse 1. It says, uh, I cried out unto the Most High, Yahweh, with my voice, with my voice unto the Lord, did I make my supplication. All right? So, he, you know, he made his, you know, his cry unto the Lord, you know. You know, he made his just yet, he Lord, his problem. He laid it out, you know, before the Lord. I pour out my complaint before him. I shoot before him my trouble so you see there in this time of trouble you know he didn't try carnally to, um, to get out of the situation he went before the Lord in prayer and we should do this man we shouldn't hold back a word from the Lord you know what I'm saying he is our um, heavenly power and he knows us better than we know ourselves so wherever situation that you may find yourself in and um, because when things go wrong, it can happen overnight. Sometimes you may be on the job or you, you may be in your car and, um, you know, the spiritual angel might tell you, hey, don't, don't go to work or don't go in, um, to your house. Go here or go there, man. 
That's why you call it for the Lord because you, you, you ain't all going down, you know what I'm saying? You know? So wherever it is, man, you know what I'm saying? Call before the Lord just as how um, King David had confidence in the Lord, man. He said, um, verse 3, says, When my spirit was overwhelmed within me, then thou knewest my path in the way wherein I walked, that they privily laid a snare for me. I look on my right hand and beheld, but there was no man that would know me. Refuge failed me. No man cared for my soul. So you see, no help, man. No help. Verse 5, it says, I cried unto thee, O Lord. I said, Thou art my refuge and my portion in the land of the living. Attend unto my cry, for I am brought low. I am brought very low, Salakia. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are stronger than I. You know, the scriptures say, um, you know, you'll be taken to the judge. You know, just paraphrasing, you, you know, you would be, you know, locked away from body officer and taken to the judge, you know, for trial and stuff. And um, in like manner, man, some of us, you know, we may be taken away by um, people, uh, a person with a gun is stronger than you because they have power over you, you know what I'm saying? So some of us may be taken to um, those FEMA camps and stuff and, you know, the soldiers or whatever equipment they have, they'll be stronger than us, you know? But we have to uh, cry out, you know, to our Lord, like King David did, for mercy. The last verse, it says, um, verse 7, Bring my soul out of prison, that I may praise thy name. The righteous shall come past, about, uh, come past me about, for thou shalt deal bountiful with me. Now, when you faithful and stuff like that, you know, you draw other people in, you know, you build, some people would sit and be encouraged and you could also speak on it and encourage others. So just as how this was put into script, you know, for us to read today through the spirit and power of God, but I should make sure that we also may be edified and built up. You know what I'm saying? In like manner, um, you may have a, a brother that may be a 11th hour um, you know, person that is waking up, is like that, that will wake up and they would see your feet, you know, we help them, you know, um, boost their feet as well because scripture says iron sharp, not iron, right? So, you know, this is a good read, man, Lord willing, you know, before they take these um, things down and, and um, these are defining lessons from the elder apostles, elder bishops on down. Um, you know, be taken down, you know, law willing, you know, y'all could see these things, man, because, um, these things are important, but I ain't gonna ramble on, um, you know, much longer, you know, Lord willing, this, um, this was a defined, very, very good, um, Psalm to read, Psalms 142, you know, because we're gonna need as much encouragement in these last days. And don't forget to call upon the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushan. Not Allah, not Buddha, not Jesus Christ, but Yahweh Bashim Yahushan. The scripture says the name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous run it unto it and is safe. So may you find refuge in the name and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushan. Lord, within this lesson, as I define this, is your brother Rabbi Banyamiyah. And I say Shalom.